Good afternoon. Welcome to Possum Rose Farms. This afternoon I want to show you how we feed the new babies. Okay, once when they're born, they don't always take to the bottle right away. So there's a few things that I have learned that help. Okay, like this guy. He says, Oh, I know what this is finally, and that's good. But he doesn't quite get how to get to the nipple. Now they are you know, they're sensitive to the temperature of the milk, and I'm sure to the temperature of the nipple when they start. Uh, you don't want it too cold, and you don't want it too hot. But what I have found is if you grab right on either side of the mouth, and you put this in, if you can get them to stop squirming around, okay. You put this right in the middle, okay. Once they figure out what's going on, then they're good. Now he's a couple days old, so he's starting to get with the program. You gotta watch some of the problems that I have had getting them to take to the bottle to begin with. Is if they won't suck, put your finger in their mouth and let them suck on it for a few minutes, and that kind of kicks in that instinct. And if you touch the top of their mouth a little bit, that will help them try to suck. The tongue. They're trying to find where that the. Uh, you know, mama's nipple is that the tongue gets sideways and then they can't drink so that's why I put my hands on either side of the mouth my fingers on either side of its mouth and kind of hold here and keep it lined up because if you just go like this if they lose alignment then it's a struggle um, once they figure it out the little black one down there he's a uh, she took to it pretty quickly so she's not as hard not as hard to get to drink it's just she stops now and then. yeah they're gonna stop to get a drink or you know they get tired of sucking for a minute but uh, you know, the, the bubbles tell me that he's getting his food and uh, they get pretty frustrated though and start hollering pretty good for a while and then uh, See how he's, he says, oh, that finger, there must be something there. But he's still, let's see. Oh, nope, he's doing pretty good. So we'll be able to take him off of the, the bottle and feed him uh, with the other goats here, with the other kids pretty soon. And they'll figure that out. We use a bucket to feed all of them at the same time. And then, see, he's, he's drank quite a bit. His tum tummy is good and round. And we'll see. They start to uh, play around with it a little bit and not really drink anymore. And that tells you that they're finished. And sometimes they walk away for a minute or two and then come back and say, Yeah, I still want a little more. But this is, this is through the years how we have figured out to do this. It's important to us to be able to feed them like this because as you can see we know exactly how much they're eating. When we used to leave them with the mom sometimes we would get uh, babies that looked like they were good and strong for a couple days, looked like they were eating good, and then all of a sudden we would lose them. And what we would find out is that mom wasn't feeding them or she wasn't producing enough milk. You know, By milking and feeding them we know how much the kids are getting how much the mom is producing. So it all works out good. Thank you. See you next time down at the barn.